We're back in Beijing and I'm hungry. I had to wake up really early this morning, but for a good cause, I'm gonna be eating all the best snacks in the city. Let's go. All right, so the first thing to have in the morning, jiangbing. Beijingers love this for breakfast. It's basically crepe with fried dough, hoisin sauce, chili, and egg. Let's try it. Wow, it's super packed, and I love that crunchy middle. It's like a surprise texture. Pretty good to have on the go. So apparently the best thing to do is to wash it all down with the Beijing yogurt. I've never had it before, but I heard it's pretty special. It's milk with sugar, raisins, nuts, and a bit of rice wine. As you can see, it comes in a glass jar, so it is a little bit more expensive because there's less preservatives, but you do get some money back if you return it, so don't just walk away with it. Let's give it a taste. Wow, you really have to go for it because it's like a really thick yogurt. It's very sweet with a sour kind of tang at the end. It's really good. So I've never tried this before, but apparently the donkey burger is supposed to be really good. So it's braised donkey meat in a flaky pastry and just some green peppers. Super simple dish. It smells really sweet. I actually expected it to be really gamey, but it's actually really sweet and reminds me kind of like lamb. It's really delicious. Mm. So chumping might look a bit familiar if you've ever had the Peking duck, but it's a bit different. So instead of filling the pancakes with duck, you can choose whatever you like from the menu. And today I got the pork hock and a bit of stir-fried shrimp and egg. So let's try it. Let's go for the pork hock. Whoa, it is a super fatty fat and skin combo going on. Oh yeah, my fave sweet sauce. Cucumber, spring onion. Let me add some egg and shrimp. Wrap it and we're good to go. Mm, the pancake is definitely a lot thicker than the usual pecking duck style, so it's a bigger mouthful. The pork might be a bit fattier than how I would like my meat to be. I do prefer the pecking duck kind of like a little meat and a little crispy skin. This is definitely like a soft version of it, but what's really great about this pancake is that you can just pick whatever you want from the menu and just make a creation of your own, so it's really fun. Possibly the most popular snack in China. Yang Rou Chan are lamb skewers with lots of spices. It's actually from the Chinese Muslims in the east of the country, but it's really popular in Beijing as you can see. Let's give it a roll. Wow, it's really soft and I can definitely taste all the spices. It's really strong. I can taste cumin, some chili, definitely chili. I'd really recommend this. All right, after all that meat, let's take a sweet break with some tanghulu. It's fruit covered in hardened sugar and comes on a long bamboo stick so that it's easy to eat while you walk. Just be careful not to chip a tooth on these things. Really sticky and really sweet. Beijing has so many more great snacks. Join me in part two as I continue my snack adventure throughout the capital. It's a full-on meal for sure.